an easy-peasy history of the Philippines. The Philippines, birthplace of boxer Manny Pacquiao and the Black Eyed Peas member Apple the App. Home of binturongs, they smell like popcorn, really. Over 30 volcanoes and delicious, delicious foods. Seafood, fresh fruit, cheap alcohol. Did we mention the banana ketchup? Yep, that is a real thing in the Philippines. If you think all of that sounds pretty great, well, we're here to tell you that it really is that great. But how did the Philippines become the Philippines of beautiful culture and wonderful foods? A place where tourists can see volcanoes and whale sharks. Easy peasy. Let's look at some history and figure it out. The Philippines is an archipelagic county, which means it's made up of a lot of little islands. Almost 8,000 islands to be exact. That's a ton of islands. But actually, only 2,000 are inhabited. In fact, over 2,500 of them are not even named and more are being discovered every day. Around 25,000 years ago, an indigenous people of dark complexion, called Negritos, traveled from a land bridge in Asia over to the islands of the Philippines. Easy peasy! The Negritos would be considered the first people to inhabit the Philippines. There is some archaeologic evidence that there may have been people on the islands many thousands of years before then, but it's still a bit up in the air. In 3000 BCE, waves of Indonesians traveled by sea and landed in the Philippines. And in 200 BCE, the first Malayan settlers arrived from South China. Modern Filipino culture was heavily influenced by the Malays, and many Filipino peoples have grown out of intermarriages between Malay and indigenous peoples. In the 1300s AD, the Philippines began trading extensively with India, Indonesia, China, and Japan. Arab traders from Indonesia introduced Islam to the Filipinos. In 1521, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan would be the first European to discover the islands. Of course, the islands had already been discovered many times before by many different peoples, but, well, that was kind of how the cookie crumbled back in the day. Magellan named the island the Archipelago of San Lazaro. Easy peasy, right? Wrong. Unfortunately for Magellan, he sailed to the island of Cebu and Christianized the local king, or Raja. But a chieftain of the island of Mactan rebelled against Cebu. Chieftain Lapu-Lapu, cool name, took 2,000 men and defeated 48 armored Spaniards. Magellan died in the fight, six weeks after he had discovered the Philippines. Tough luck, Magellan. But don't worry, there is a white obelisk marking the spot where Magellan was killed. Not bad. In 1542, a Spanish expedition led by Ruy López de Villalobos claimed the islands for Spain and named them the Philippines after Prince Philip. Prince Philip would go on to become King Philip II of Spain, and the Philippines became part of the Spanish Empire. In 1872, three Filipino priests were executed by the Spanish colonizers. The crime? Their supposed complicity during an uprising of Filipino workers at a naval yard. The priests, Gomez, Burgos, and Zamora, referred to as Gomburza, one of the earliest named portmanteaus. Benefer and Brangelina have nothing on these guys, became martyrs, and helped to inspire the beginnings of Philippine nationalism. In 1886, Filipino doctor, poet, author, and nationalist Jose Rizal wrote a famous novel, Noli Mi Tanger, The Lost Eden which was a diatribe against Spanish administration and the religious orders in the Philippines. Easy peasy! Because of this, he was exiled from the Philippines. In 1896, while on the way to Cuba to serve as a doctor, Rizal was forced to return to Manila. Once there, he was arrested for revolution, tried and sentenced to death by a firing squad. His execution set the country aflame, causing a revolution to break out. But when the Treaty of Paris ended the Spanish-American War in 1899, the Spanish ceded the Philippines to America. The Filipinos were not down with this, though, and they declared independence and began a guerrilla war effort against the U.S. In 1902, the insurrection ended after the American governor of the Philippines, William Taft, yes, the Taft that would one day be the 27th president of the USA, improved economic conditions, settled disputes over land ownership, and allowed Filipinos to study in the U.S., which helped modernize the country. Easy peasy! Thirty years later, in 1934, the U.S. promised Philippine independence to be effective in 1946, allowing plenty of time for this transition to take place. 
A year later, the Filipino people approved a constitution, created the Commonwealth of the Philippines, and named Manuel Quezon y Molina as president. But in 1941, the Japanese invaded, because not even the Philippines could avoid World War II. The Japanese defeated General Douglas MacArthur and President Quezon was forced to establish a government in exile. Three years later, Quezon died, but Vice President Sergio Osmeña took over as president, and General MacArthur reinvaded the Philippines. Easy peasy. MacArthur liberated Manila. Great job! And then, President Osmeña established the government once more. And finally, in 1946, just like the U.S. promised, the Philippines became an independent nation. Manuel Roxas y Acuña was elected the first president of the new independent nation. Today, the Philippines is known for its rich biodiversity, rainforests, beaches, mountains, and as a great place for tourism. It produces and exports more coconuts than any other country in the world. Delicious! More than 90% of Filipinos speak English, and many are multilingual. In fact, the Philippines is the fifth largest English-speaking nation. Easy peasy! The Philippines is the top supplier of nurses in the world. Thank you so much, nurses, for helping us to heal when we're sick. And Filipinos love basketball and boxing. Tourists can visit volcanoes, some of them are still active, the Puerto Princesa underground river, the Chocolate Hills, the Banal Rice Terraces, or the beautiful beaches of the island of Boracay. Great job, Philippines! If you love learning about the history of the Philippines, it's easy peasy to click to subscribe!